what we're going to do, we're going to be coppicing. We're going to be doing some renovation work. We're going to try and return this wood to a coppicing cycle because it has been neglected for 30, 40 years. The reason for that is that this type of management is very good for biodiversity. Now, what happens is that when something grows up like that, it shades out the ground underneath, stuff tends to die out, uh, doesn't grow, the plants don't grow, the insects disappear, it's not all that good for birds, the wood becomes less biodiverse, less ecologically valuable. But when you do cut that down and you let the light in again, uh, the plants start to grow again, the seed bank, the seeds that are lying in the soil, rate it, waiting for the right conditions, all pop up, and by about the second year, we will often get a big flush of new plant growth, blooms, flowers, blue bells, all sorts of stuff. This brings insects in, that brings birds in, and so forth. So cutting this stuff down is very valuable. Uh, in a wood like this, which is about 10 acres, we wanted to harvest every 10 years, they would go in and they'd cut about an acre. And by doing that, what you create is a mosaic of habitat. You have the habitat which has just been cut, going all the way around to the habitat which is ready to be coppered again. And this is very, very good for wildlife. And this is, as I say, why we want to re restore this wood. This wood has got lots of plants in it, which are, are, are very valuable to wildlife. This is ancient wood. Uh, this type of wood is called coppice with standards. So the standards are obviously the tall trees, but when we go in there, you'll see that there is an understory of shrubs like this. They don't grow, grow very tall. Mm -hmm. And this is a deliberate form of management in that you have the standards, like an oak would take 120, 150 years to mature and become valuable wood. But this sort of stuff, the, uh, the coppice, this could have been harvested every 7 to 15 years. So you had a rotation of, of produce for use. This that we're looking at is hazel. This, in, in this part of the country, hazel is uh, the dominant understory and this is the stuff that was used for all sorts of things. It would be cut down and it could have been used for sheep hurdles, patching spars, da 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 da, da goes on and on. All sorts of uh, things were made from that produce. It would have been cut, it would have been harvested between every seven and fifteen years. So you had a renewable crop because when you cut it down you don't kill it, it just regrows again. Well not only does it grow again, you give it virtually perpetual life. Because every time you cut it down it grows and you go on and on and on like that. And it is thought in some woods that some of the hazels which have been cut over the years may well be as much as a thousand years old, which is much older than the oak trees that are in there. Marjo Wiggins Graphic, uh, the whole ethos of what we do is, uh, is green. Uh, we produce environmentally friendly products and uh, to, to complement that we, we want to give back to uh, our society and the surroundings and um, do things that help nature and uh, coppicing um, and working in the woodland is, is part of that. Well, I think. Uh, uh, what I've learnt today is that uh, you're not destroying the environment here by actually cutting down the trees and shrubs but instead actually allowing uh, the important trees and the ground flora to survive and to fl flourish.